Hi fans, it's Mag, and we're going to do another LEGO Creator review today. This one is of set 31001 Mini Sky Flyers. It is a 3-in-1 LEGO Creator where you can build the jet that's on the cover, which is what we have here. This would be the most experienced build. We also have a space shuttle looking plane that we can build. That would be considered the medium version. And we also have the plane that has straight wings, a little different style, but that would be considered the easy version of this set. And it comes in this neat red container. I'll open it up so everyone could have a, a peek inside and it's just a storage container but I like it because you don't see creator sets come in these too much I don't know if this is something new that Lego is trying to do most of the time you just get the boxes that have the thumb pop and then you open the sides and cut the bags and out they come when it when I bought this uh, all of the Legos were in a little uh, plastic bag so they weren't loose inside the set but you could always just take the pieces and put them back in the red container and you don't necessarily have to put them in a small Ziploc bag so they don't fall and get lost because this top is pretty tight and I, I just like the way that they had delivered this and packaged it to be a, a reusable container. So let's take a look at our airplane build. So here we have the main build on our mini sky flyers. And this is a really nice job for a small micro series build. The cool thing about this plane is that these two little triangle pieces are just sandwiched in between the top and the bottom. And you really can't see it very well, but if you can look down in there, there's a single stud that is in the corner of this triangle piece. And without using Technic pieces or hinge pieces you can get some motion just by oscillating the wing back and forth on that single stud. It has good tight stability and having the wings fully exposed from the bottom uh, or, or looking at it from the top I like this. It's a nice little feature that they added into the design. Now you also have the full cockpit front shield as well as two sloped one by one tinted black pieces to resemble the back. You have your nose cone. You have some designs along the side. You have your afterburners in the back with some orange flames coming out. I like the way that they had built the tail portion of the plane you have your fins straight up in the air as well as your uh, uh, mini wings on the side using some uh, yellow sloped one by one pieces your cheese wedges if you will uh, they added some flush square one by one yellow pieces and you have your two one by one circle flush blue pieces on the top of the wings so you can have some running lights I would have suggested to Lego to make this a little bit better and not go overboard with more pieces is that it's fairly simplistic that you can get some uh, axle wheels to be put right under here and then you could have not retractable landing gear but at least some wheels for the plane to sit on and roll with right now there's there's nothing it's flush and uh, uh, I mean, you have some playability. It is a mini Sky Flyer. It's priced for um, the particular product as well. But I think that that would be a neat little add is to have some wheels. And, and it's only one piece. And, and it wouldn't drastically change the price. Uh, of course, if you put wheels on it, you have two in the back. You'd have to have something with, with a single in the front, uh, which can be done. So that is our advanced build for the mini sky flyers let's take a look at the next build here we have our medium build for this set and this is the space shuttle look-alike I like the way that they had designed it with the slopes obviously the cone in front 
some flat one by two studs on the bottom. It actually gives it a shuttle look and it will stand on its own. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit for you to see. So it will stand on its own, being supported by the engines at the bottom, as well as a couple studs that we have attached next to the engines. You could have a countdown if you so wish. I think that it's pretty neat. Uh, there isn't much sticking out from it. There is no rear tail fin. Uh, there's only the side fins. We have a lot of detail happening just because there's just a bunch of little pieces in this set. But I think that they go around the, the side wings fairly nice. You'll notice there is no use of the clear glass, the transparent black pieces, the one by one slopes. Uh, that's the way that the instructions tell you to build this. Now, if we were to take those pieces, I'm sure that we can attach them right here. There's two of them, and we can put them side by side. We can't use this big piece because it just wouldn't look right. Plus, it, it wouldn't fit the way that this blue stud is there. You could probably remove the blue stud, uh, and I don't know it, if it looks corny or not, but I guess if you wanted to do your own build, you could do that. We'll take these two pieces off. They don't have any uh, cockpit. <laughs> then again, this is not a minifigure scale model, so there really isn't anywhere on here that we can put a minifigure. Some of the smaller sets, which are not minifigure scale, you at least have a location on the build somewhere where you can put a minifigure. I suppose you could take these two one by two slopes out and expose some bricks underneath where you can sit a minifigure. But other than that, there really is not much to talk about in this version. Again, I think that wheels would be a nice addition to go underneath the shuttle here. Uh, that's the only thing that uh, I believe would be missing that could enhance this build and still keep it to minimal pieces. That is our review of this craft. Let us take a look at our final build. Here we have our last build in our mini Sky Flyers creator set. The wings are straight. They don't oscillate back and forth like our jet build did. There really is no tail fin. There's just a couple wings that stick out the side. And I think that if we wanted to have some reality to this, it would, it would be all over the place because there's no tail fin. Uh, you do have the afterburners on this jet as well on each side. So the engines are up towards the front. And you do have use of the full cockpit. Um, there is some separation between the cockpit and the rear glass. So I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be doing here. Um, for playability, I guess if you wanted to, you could take a minifigure and slap it right down on top of these studs. Uh, it's, it's not uh, going to be engulfed in any type of cockpit or compartment. It'll be fully exposed, but hey, this is a small set, and if kids want to do that, then you know, go right ahead and let them put a minifigure right on top, and then they can fly around. You have what looks like some guns, some cannons up front, two on each side and you have the yellow signal lights at the end of each wing but this is the easy build of this creator set there are pieces left over this is very simple and of course the wheels would work on this plane as well if lego would have included them in the set so that is our final review of this lego creator 31001 I hope you enjoyed all three builds. Please leave a like, feel free to subscribe, and share our videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.